Oh, that's thick. There we go, baby. That's a good fish. What's up, guys? This is TJ, aka Fishing with Yak Pack, and I'm here today with my good friends, Larry Melton Jr. and Fishing with Norm. Both their channels are going to be linked down in the description below. We're here in the Walmart parking lot because why would we not start a video in the Walmart parking lot? Not only that, but Walmart has something that I need, just like you saw in the thumbnail and title. I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're, I wanna go test all of these bait mate things like sprays, fish attractant sprays. I wanna go test those out uh, to see which one actually works best or if they even actually work at all. Like, is it worth have, yeah. like spraying that stuff or is it just a, is it a gimmick? Does is it, it a, catch yeah, the fishermen? It could be a, I've heard people say it's a scam and I've heard other people say yeah. it works. So. Does it catch the fishermen or does it catch the fish? In today's video, we're gonna find out I promise you guys, stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Hopefully, we can go catch some slobs. I don't know. Maybe the slobs don't eat the, the stuff. So I don't know. You know, we're just yeah. we're literally just gonna wing it. We're gonna head in Walmart. And we're gonna buy every single color bait mate that they have, and compare every single one of them on the water. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's make yeah. it happen. Let's do it. All right, guys. We just got here to Walmart and check this out. I'm already looking right now. What's up, my dude? <laughs> already got here. Look, check it out. They got every color that I wanted to use. Now, I've been wanting to make this video for a very, very long time. And actually, I just, oh my goodness. Okay, so I just noticed something. Wow, this is uh, kind of throwing me for a loop here. Check this out. So we have crappie and panfish, bass, game fish, and saltwater. So I actually didn't know that these, uh, these bait mate things right here, I did not know that they came in like different flavors as far as like different fish. But what we're gonna do, obviously, we're still gonna try to complete this. We're still gonna try to make it happen. What I wanna do is I wanna see which one works best. I wanna see if, you know, or even if I'm able to catch a, a bass on the saltwater spray. I think that would be really cool. I just wanna see if I can get more bites on one over the other and whatever I end up getting the most bites on, whichever, you know, obviously, whichever one works the best. So we're gonna grab one of each. We're gonna grab a crappy panfish, a bass, a uh, game fish, I don't even know what, the, I mean, what is game fish will be bass, right? And then a saltwater one. So one of each, all these colors right here, and we're gonna see which one works best. Which one do you think is gonna work best, Norm? Um, This one, yellow one. The yellow one, the game fish one? Yes. Mm, I like your style, okay. So we've got all of our fish attractant fish spray stuff. Now we need a, a couple of bags of baits just to see. Obviously you gotta have baits to catch fish. So let's see, Larry, what should I get? I gotta keep in mind I gotta spray this stuff on there to try to catch fish. So whatever you think, what do you think? Let's see. Mm, good question. You know my go-to is always the lizard. So mm. you can't go wrong with the lizard. Can't go wrong with the lizard. Okay. So what color you think? Green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. You can't go, go wrong to, with a green pumpkin to. lizard. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll get lizards. We'll do. Uh, do they have the? Yeah. Right here. Perfect. They got speed worms right here. My speed favorite. Worms? Yeah. <laughs> speed worms right here. This literally this Norm's favorite. Okay. And then we'll get one of my old. Obviously, if this is not a no fill. I don't know what ain't. And then we'll get us a uh, we'll get us a bag of Sankos too. We got some watermelon, red and black. Okay. All right, I'll take that. So this is kind of crazy right here. The game fish one, this bright, I like the color. That's my favorite. I don't like that color. But <laughs> game fish to me would be bass. You know what I mean? Like that's a game yeah. fish. But saltwater and crappy and panfish, like I don't know if this saltwater is gonna be able to work for largemouth bass. Or crappy and panfish, I would assume maybe so, but the saltwater one I'm really intrigued about. I'm really really curious about but with that said i guess they're closing walmart at 4 p.m on a tuesday afternoon so uh, we better head outside before they lock us in you guys ready yeah, yeah. might as well let's we gotta go. go let's go catch them all right guys we finally made it to the uh to the lake and i'm gonna be throwing this little speed worm right here that we got from walmart and i'm gonna start with the uh the crappy and panfish i'm gonna give a couple squirts look at that Oh, that's thick. Wow, that does not look like what I thought it was gonna look like at all. Okay. There we go, now that we're here, I'm wondering how long that's gonna stay on. Like if that makes any sense. Oh my gosh, there was a bite right there. That was literally the first little pitch with this thing, the first little cast. There we go. First fish of the day, baby, on the uh, 
on the red crappy sauce, dude. Let's go. That's a good one, too. Awesome size fish to start the morning. Had to switch up baits to the black and blue cutter worm because the other one just wasn't working. Let's go. Yes. Okay, spot number two. Bait number two. Or bait spray, I should say. We're going to switch this up. It's the water clarity kind of screams watermelon red flake over black and blue we're gonna see how that works and next spray up is the the bass oh god it smells like weird i don't know we're gonna sauce that thing up though pretty freaking good we want mm, yeah mm. Mm -mm -mm. leaking everywhere okay so the first fish spray that we use no way, look at this. There's craw, wow. I just found baby craw, baby crawfish hands. And this, well that's crazy, and they're blue too, so, yo, that's crazy. I just so happened to look down. Oh my God, there's more. What in the world? It's like blue crawfish in this stuff? That's insane. A pond full of blue crawfish. The first spray ended up working pretty good. It got us like a two pounder, which uh, I'm always happy with. Now we just gotta see if the bass spray actually is good for bass. Yo, this is crazy. Like every 10 steps I take, there's blue crawfish claws. Can you guys, can anybody explain to me why there is crawfish hands along the bank of this pond? Unless somebody was out here fishing with like live bait or something. Other than that, I mean, that's, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I slung him. Holy smokes. Come here, dude. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Sorry. Oh no. Come here. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. I just freaking first little pitch. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I guess the bass one does work. Holy smokes. We were uh we were kind of hoping for something a lot bigger than that, but alright. <laughs> nice little jump there at the end. Okay. Time to switch up the uh, the old spray now. So I changed up my baits. I'm gonna use this little uh, speed worm right here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because the uh, Norm actually put me on this. Norm made a very good point the other day. Uh, sometimes you can even struggle to get a bite with a Senko. And I'll show you guys something real quick. Or something along the lines of a Senko. Here we go. We got a speed worm and a cutter worm, okay. And you guys can see that standard size cutter worm, which is generically a Senko. Uh, it's it's a lot more thick than the uh, the speed worm. And when you're fishing these dog days of summer, a lot of times, if you downsize your bait like that, it'll help you catch some fish. So what is next up? Oh, here we go. We have game fish. All right, what does this look like? Oh, this is like glow in the dark. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what it, that one, kind of just smells i really don't even know what this one oh that's thick look at that look how thick and juicy that's almost like that chartreuse dye pretty cool oh god it's nice oh. so we've got two down we've got the bass and we've got the crappy and the pan fish now all we got to do is catch one on the game fish and the salt water i think the salt water is probably going to be the hardest one but we're gonna we're gonna grind it out and we're gonna see. There we go, baby. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That is a good fish. That is a foot ball right there. Okay. And that was on the game fish attracting. All right. Heck yes, dude. Awesome fish right here. Third one of the day. Another, this is probably like a two and a half pounder. I mean, this boy, this is a thick boy right here. He's got some, uh, got some shoulders on him. Future 10 pounder right here we're looking at. Two and a half, maybe two and three quarter, give or take. Awesome. Oh, let's go. All right, sweet. All right, dude. Catch you next time. Oh, he's quick. 
so far so good we've actually uh got a fish on every single i think actually i think maybe three different yeah three different lures and three different sprays how awesome is that three lures three sprays okay it's pretty dang good especially for the summertime heat these fish are uh extremely hard to catch right now especially way down here in south florida i think the high day like the true feel is like 109 anyways we've got one more let's see we got one more oh wow that's got a very a very uh distinct it almost like it almost smells like a swimming pool oh it's super blue we're just gonna cake this thing up bag get some sauce on it look at the drip the drip is real oh my goodness okay we're caked up on that thing that is the the live salt water ultimate ultimate mix well, we made it back home guys and unfortunately we were not able to catch fish on the blue fish attractant we were able to catch them on the bass on the game fish and on the crappy and the pan fish now i don't know if that's due to like there's some like specific ingredient in the i can barely read that actually i don't know if there's some ingredient in here that just freshwater fish just don't like or if it just got to be that point of the day where it just got so hot so fast it, the fish just completely shut down that very well could be the case because like it was three hours ago that I went fishing that it was, I think, 89 degrees this morning when I walked out of my house at 645. This morning, 89 degrees. Right now, like I said earlier in the video, the true field today is supposed to be somewhere around 109, 107 to 109. Uh, if you take into the like the weather, the humidity, and, and the direct sun and all that other good stuff. But that's, that's hot. That's like, when it gets that hot, it just, these fish just completely shut down. Anyways, normally I would give this stuff away, but unfortunately I don't think you can ship this stuff because it's kind of technically like been open and it's liquid. I don't know, maybe you can. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll have my wife check and if so, I'll give away these four fish sprays right here in a, uh, a soon to be upcoming video. Now, I don't know for sure if these like fish attractants, I don't know for sure if they work, but I do know having the bites that I had today. So had I caught every single fish that bit today, I probably would have had uh, somewhere close to like 12 fish catches. That's if I had to call every single one that uh, that I got a bite from but I ended up with three fish and I don't know guys. I, I just I don't know Maybe I should do a part two of this. I don't know It could possibly be that summertime is definitely not the time to use those baits because you would you would figure if it did really help all the other nine bites that I got the the fish maybe would have held on to it just a little bit longer because it was that like fish attractant like that to me i don't know i don't know exactly what i'm trying to say but in my head the wheels are spinning and it makes sense anyways uh thank you guys for watching i appreciate all the love and all the support don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new hit that like button and turn that notification bell on that way you don't miss any future heaters again thanks for watching and we'll catch you all on the next adventure peace